When you are to define an ionic bond, you would always start with electrostatic attraction between ions, positive and negative. Evidence. What evidence do we have about ionic bonding? There are two of them. Number one is that electron density map that I was telling you about. Number two, it's electrolysis. So, how electrolysis proves to you the existence of ions? Simply, if you take an ionic compound, you put it on a glass rod, you turn on the electricity, you'll notice that the cations go to the cathode and the anions go to the anode, right? So that's where the word cathode anode comes from because cathode attracts the cations and so does the anode. So electrolysis would show you the particles moving specifically when they are colorful. And by the way, ionic compounds, you know that part, ionic compounds only conduct electricity when they are molten or when they are aqueous. Reason? Because ions cannot move when there is in the solid form. So the ionic lattice wouldn't allow the ions to move. Here, I would just remind you of colors because it would be helpful to determine where are the ions going. So copper ions will always appear to be blue. You need to be aware of dichromate. Dichromate is orange. When it's anything ending with eight, like sulfate, nitrate, no color. When it's manganate, like potassium manganate, then it is purple, okay? So just remember these colors. You have copper, blue, eight sulfate nitrate, there are no color, and manganate, it's gonna be purple, okay? Now, moving on to the second evidence. We said that electrolysis is one evidence of the ionic bond. What was the second one? There's the electron density map. So remember, when it's an ionic bond, there is no overlap. There is no contour line that would include both ions. Just said it. And we said that ionic bonding is stronger when, remember? It is stronger with higher charges. It is stronger when the ions are smaller. Okay. Do you know what I call this and this together? So high charge small radius together we have one phrase to identify that we say that is the charge density 